Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm um, doing a quick blast from the past, something that's different but also very close to me. I am doing a review of the Berserk Armor Guts. It is one of the few toys that uh, that I got back when I first got back into collecting a while back, and I never actually reviewed it. I don't know. Maybe I was waiting to uh, wait till I found a perfect way to take pictures of it or figure out a way to do it or whatever reason it was. I've forgotten now at this point, but I decided to sit down. Uh, and go back and review it with a little added bonus of some stuff. And here I am now. Uh, I'm really enjoying the figure now more than ever. It's pretty much was ahead of its time even for me. And uh, I'm really, really enjoying it. So uh, let's get started. Welcome to the review of the Berserk Armor Guts from Figma, Max Factory. And this armor, I, I believe this figure, is a couple years old now at this point. Which, by some standards, may be outdated. But honestly, it, like I said, it was ahead of its game. Uh, this is one of the best Figmas I've ever owned. And I own a lot. I just don't show them all off. But when it comes to the gut stuff, uh, the Black Swordsman one was okay even for then. There was a lot of issues with it. But this one, oh man, this one. So, yeah. Let's go with articulation first. I have on the uh, fully, sorry, the fully activated armor head. Its mouth can open, so you can see here, you can only see darkness on the inside of the cloak, but uh, it's activated the uh, crimson redness. It's really nice, the armor design. Mine has begun to fade it as time went on. I should really probably have somebody uh, touch it up. There's uh, paint chipping here, but it's been a long time, and I pretty much want another one. If I could, I'd get another one, but um, it's really nice because the head can go up, it can go down. You can actually tilt it left and right. The armor piece for the cape that allows you to add on. There's a plastic cape. I'll get into that in a second. And basically, uh, the head isn't hindered at all in any shape or form. It's just really nice. These are very pointy. They're hard plastic. The detail and sculpt is all here. And it's one of the things that I really love about this. Now, as far as the articulation goes for the upper torso, now, it has a shoulder swivel. That allows you to rotate there is a not a bicep swivel but an inside rotating swivel that most of the time that shf does but it really works for the armor because it blends in so well so as you can see if you want your arms can go back your arms can go out to the side your arms can come across so your hands can meet it's really nice and then at the lower forearm you can actually rotate it so that way you're not missing a beat. Like I said, my hands are even starting to pink out a little. Maybe I'll have my friend Ray touch it up. Who knows? Now, as far as the upper torso goes, the upper torso rotates in and down, in and down. Where you have a good ab crunch, a very good ab crunch. Especially when you want to make it look as if Guts is not in control and it's just the armor itself. So you actually get a nice detail of it making it look like Guts himself is no longer in control. Really, really enjoy that. As far as the leg act uh, the leg articulation, there's even a mid-waist uh, rotation, so you can actually rotate in several different ways. As far as the legs, the legs go up about this far. The legs are very uh, limited, but also not limited, so it's a little weird. They're single-jointed for a Figma, but for some reason, I am able to finagle the, the legs go out a little further and go up a little further. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because my figure is a little older, but you actually get a ton more, a ton more range messing around and finagling it just a little. As you can see. So it's limited in ways, but also not limited. Because as you can see here, let's see if I can get them to balance on one foot. It has a very nice ankle pivot as well. Uh, I can't get him to balance a little too heavy. But I'm pretty sure with the cape on, it'll be just fine. So real quick, after going over the ankle pivot, ah, see my leg came off because I pushed a little too far, but it should be able to snap right back in. So yeah. I've tucked those in for so long I forgot that was here that it made the armor look a lot more smoother than I even remember. So... Enough talking about the hands. Let's talk about the only drawback that I've seen so far 
that I don't like on this figure is the cape. It's plastic. I hate it. It is very, very difficult, hard plastic. I'm not a real fan of that at all. Um, there are shades of red mixed into here. I don't remember if that's actually from it or from the simple fact that uh, my figure is so old and so worn at this point. I used to play and display with this all the time. So here what we do is we're going to lift up the black piece. We're going to align it with the top part that plugs in. And you can see here the cape plugs into the back and it's really long and it's really nice when it's displayed as a static piece. But as far as functionality go, it completely limits the figure in every single way. And that's why I hated this cape. I hated it. I despised it. So uh, after a long time, I actually went out on eBay and I had bought a cape. I had a friend make a cape. I was trying to find every which way to, uh, you know, this is before customizers actually started making a ton of stuff. And I uh, didn't find a cape at work until recently. And that's why I have went back and I uh, worked on it. Next up. Oh, sorry. I forgot. On the cape itself, you actually see that you can attach Shriek. She's a plug-in right at the top. She goes right over Guts' shoulder. So she, you can actually have her plug in directly. She's nice, to, but all, she's pretty much uh, what you would call a fig fix before it was a fig fix. So you can do is rotate and swivel, swivel the head. It's not much. Next up, we're gonna talk about the amount of hands that guts come with, which is a lot. You get pretty much, uh, what, six sets of hands plus the ones there. So you get those open palms you start with. You get three different types of hands for his swords, both left and right. There's none missing. You get open uh, standard uh, action palms, open relaxed palms, and closed fists. And like I said, three different types of ones for the sword. These are all incredibly nice, and they hold the weapon really well. Next up, we're going to talk about his sword, the Dragon Slayer. Really cool. Uh, straight to the point, it's a giant sword. I don't know if there's much else I can tell you. When uh, adding the hands on, what you do is you just remove the bottom part, slide the hand through, plug this back in. They're all set and dandy. Now, real quick, when you want to talk about when you activate, uh, when you swap to the deactivated mode, you pull the head out. You actually gently remove this piece here. That leaves you here with this. You're going to plug this right back in on the chest. And then you pop on the uh, the non-activated head, which you'll see guts. But it still gives you a reminiscent of the armor because it's not activated. But you get a very nice look at guts of what he looks like without it. As you can see, there's an open mouth. Actually, let me take this off so you can see it. See the open mouth. You can actually remove the plate as well, so you can see the head. Like I said, when it came out then, it was really ahead of its time. So I really can't wait for the new one. It's really nice to see guts in this deactivated head. So all in all, that's all that you get with, with the standard release of guts. It was really nice. I loved it. Um, I still love it now. I wish I could do so much more, and I kind of will. But I went the extra mile, and what I did was I went and had some heads customized and a blade customized. So I know we have his Dragon Slayer. Ooh, shit. Dropped my light. That was not a good look. But uh, you know what? I'm going to keep that in there. <laughs> I'm going to just keep it in there. I went, and what I did was I added an extra blade. Now, this is from the Gus Black Swordsman. I use the extra blade to pretty much have a bloody version. That what happens is when it sucks up demon souls from Gut Slay and everything. So now I can pretty much look really good in photos. I have what I've done. This was done by my friend Ray. Uh, I'll put the link in his bio. He's not taking commission work right now. But if you want to see some of his work, feel free to check out his gallery and his Instagram. So this is really, really nice. As you can see, it compared to the clean blade, there's a big difference. Next up, the next thing I did was I went and had two heads customized to show off Guts's white streak that he gets later on. For those of you who haven't caught up, I'm sorry for spoiling this little thing. I won't say why, though, but adding the white streak definitely added on to Guts. 
and it's fully compatible you can just swap the head right on and voila there you have it if you guys don't know or don't own the berserker armor i'll do a quick size comparison with some other stuff so you guys can see what's going on i'm going to leave this head on so you can see here is guts next to a synthetic human as you can see here he's much bigger he's actually bigger than regular figma so this is crazy because Guts is supposed to be a big guy, so he's much bigger than Figma's. Meanwhile, with other lines, he kind of just stays in scale. Here he is next to an SHF. Next to an Articulated Icons Ninja. He's a little bigger than them all. Here he is next to a Marvel Legend, which I think the Marvel Legend should be bigger. But who knows? We'll find out right now. Guts is still actually just a little bit bigger. Even with his human head on. So he's probably a little bigger with the demon head on. Last but not least, here he is next to a Mezco. So even uh, against Mezco's, Guts kind of scales really well. So he's bigger than a normal Figma as well. In the meantime, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. This little throwback of me uh, going over some older stuff. Adding a little bit of spin, my personal touch to it. And I appreciate you guys watching through all this time. I really do. In the meantime, guys, hope you enjoy it. Hope you find this informative. Hope you do good. Be good. Drink your water. Later.